how to create this collage in Adobe Spark. So stick around. What's going on everybody, Claudio here and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thumbs up for stopping by. If you are a returning guest, thank you as well. Today I'm walking you through how to create this collage in Adobe Spark. I got the inspiration for this project from an image that I saw in my Instagram feed. Now I can create this in Photoshop, but I wanted to challenge myself and see if I can recreate something like this in Adobe Spark. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Here at spark.adobe.com, I'm going to click on the blue plus sign. Now, normally I choose custom size graphic, but this time I'm going to choose collage because that's what I'm creating. So let's click on collage and now we're going to locate our images. Now, these are ones that Adobe Spark has for free. You've got Creative Commons rights to use those, but I wanna create one custom for me. So I'm going to upload my images and I have it right here. Now you're limited to 16 images that you can add. So let's go ahead and let's do show icon so we can see our images. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see, we've got 16, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. All right, now these are images kind of of my promo images. Choose whatever 16 you want. You're going to see them loaded right there. Once it's ready to go, then we'll click on next. Now I can choose the size that I want for my collage. I'm going to go to social post and choose Instagram portrait. You can choose any size you want, but I'm using this one because the image that I'm going to use as the overlay or as the mask is one of my other images and it is in that proportion. It'll look better as an Instagram portrait. And here's my collage. Adobe Spark has added them to 16 cells and randomly put them in different ones. I can go and adjust that by clicking on background, scrolling down here and adjusting, like I mentioned, by shuffling the different layouts, depending on how your images look like. So if you've got some landscape ones, if you've got some portrait ones, you wanna make sure and choose ones that will fit best. So let's go ahead and let's go with this one here and I can shuffle and make adjustments. So I notice that I have this one cut off. So here's something that you can do. You can click and drag to a different cell and it will move them and just make those adjustments to the images to make sure that you have everything in the cell that you want to be there. Let's make a few more adjustments here. And I think we'll be ready to go. The next step is to colorize the images that are in each of the cells. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my brand colors first. Here is my brand colors. I'm going to click out here and then choose one of my images. I will start with this one here and come down here to filters scroll down just a little bit here and come down to colorize. And again, this is my brand color. So I'll go through here and choose the different ones, touch the image and then choose filter here. So it may take a little bit of time to do this. So let me wrap this up and come right back. I went through and colorized the images. Now I'm going to click in the cell because it's all red. I wanna change it up a bit and click here where it says filters and come down here and just hit the shuffle button for the image here and click through and depending on what your brand or what colors you chose you can go ahead and just shift this hit the colorize and make a little bit of adjustment just to make it look kind of interesting up here so i'll go through here and make my adjustments and be right back i went ahead and colorized all the cells but i want to share a tip with you if you want to randomize the look or the colors here what you can do is click on colors here and then just shuffle the button here and it will shuffle the colors, randomize the look. If I want to come down here to the other colors that are not my brand colors, I can do the same thing. And notice how it just alters the colors based on the template, or I should say the palette that you choose. Now what I'll do is add the overlay or the cutout of my silhouette. So let's go ahead and add another image here. Go to upload and I'm going to choose one of my images that I have taken, kind of one of my selfies here. So let's see where it's at. And I believe it is that one right there. So I'm going to choose that one. I got my image there. I'm going to go ahead and close that there. 
click on my image, make it larger. What I want to do is cover up my collage here, make that adjustment right about there. So you kind of get the idea that that's my silhouette right there. Now, one thing I want you to be aware of is if you are doing this on mobile and you are adding the image, it may ask you, do you want to move freely or move to the background? You want to make sure and choose move freely, but you want to be able to do this right here. So make sure and choose move freely. All right. Now what I'm going to do is remove background and what it will do is it will remove the background around my, I would say profile or my picture. The background now has been removed and you can see me there. You can see the images behind, but I actually want the inverse. I want to keep the background and remove myself. So what I'll do is choose invert cutout. And now I have been removed and my background is there. I'm going to click on the uh, done button here and I'm almost there. I've got one more step to do with that background. Now what I'll do is choose filter. As you can see, it changed the color of the background and I'm coming down here to duo tone. And what I'll do is choose, let's say white there for the main color and then the highlights. I want to make sure and choose both and boom, there it is. So now what I've got is my cutout and I've got those images there. As you can see, some of them were cut out, but you kind of get the idea. This is what I was going for based on the sample image that I shared with you. So now I've got one more step to do, and that's just to download this as a PNG and I'll be ready to go. And that's how to create a cutout collage in Adobe Spark. So now it's your turn to create one. If you do and share on social, be sure to tag me. I'd like to check it out. Let me know what you thought about this video. If you have any comments or questions, please do drop it in the comment section below. Don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe, click the bell to be notified for future videos, and please do share this video with others. Thank you again for stopping by. And as always, be good to one another. Peace.